So I forgot to do a Fort Wayne Home and Garden Show recap. Uh, however, I will say that this year was one of the worst shows that we did. Uh, Christy and I worked the show uh, starting on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Thursday and Friday I worked the show by myself. There was a couple times on both Thursday and Friday it would have been helpful to have somebody else as I miss talking to some people. However, I will say that um, the show quality was a lot different than it was in years past. The attendance from what we saw on the people counter that walked by our booth was up significantly. However, when I was talking to you know um, the owner of the show, basically saying that the the the, the, tech, the ticket count was down on Saturday, it was up on like Thursday or Friday, but it was down. You know, it kind of averaged out. So I don't know what it was it finished out on on Friday. However, I can tell you that um, there were several people that thought that the attendance was down a little bit. Uh, you know, the, the it's whatever, six, eight dollars to park at the Coliseum. Um, things are just getting more and more expensive. And you know, when the costs of those, uh, those items add up, uh, it will detour or, you know, the traffic coming in. What else can I say about the types of traffic and people that we saw? Uh, we started selling at a higher rate on Thursday. I, like when I first got there, I mean, we were selling, sell, selling right after one after another. And then, uh, cause the show started at like 11 o'clock or no, three o'clock on, no, noon. Started at noon or 11, it was 11, it was 11 on Thursday. And I mean, we just sold bam, bam, bam for the first four hours. I was really busy and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be a great, great show for us. And it ended up um, at three o'clock, it died. Like not, not traffic wise, but the quality of people just completely died. Um, they were not interested. They didn't have the money. They thought it was a great deal. And they said, man, we wish we had that much money in our checking account. And, you know, I'm like, you know, I heard this a ton of times. It wasn't just, you know, like once or twice, but I bet I, I, I gave 150 pitches on, on Thursday. And I bet you I heard that probably 50 or 60 times. And I thought to myself, why are you here at this show if you do not have enough money in your checking account to pay for a $70, you know, or $80 fee? It just didn't, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. Anyway, um, that part was very, uh, very interesting that, um, it wasn't, uh, boy, it wasn't the greatest quality of people on Friday, all day Friday. Uh, my sales were down by half of where they normally are. Uh, Friday is not typically not a great day, but Saturday, our sales were down by 40% on Saturday. Uh, Sunday, our uh, sales were up about, I don't know, 10%, 15%. It did not average out. Uh, total dollar volume was down um, just a couple thousand dollars, but that was because we're selling a little bit higher dollar volume than what we were last year. So that helped um, compensate for that, the drop of sales. But um, we believe that the main reason why is because they had a new like shows on the annex area where they built on those shows realistically detracted um, like when the shows got out there were herds of people that came through and when I say herds I mean we're talking hundreds of people at a time and like it would just be constant people just going and going and going and when, when herds happen at shows it's not a good deal because nobody sells anything nobody's interested in anything because nobody can stop because they've got literally a couple hundred people behind them uh, so that was not rate and that usually in the aisle 700 that we're in it, it's or not 100 we're in 100 um usually that's never been a problem uh we always get really good qualified people stopping and talking to us and this year it felt like that was not possible the other thing that uh, was negative for us is we kind of had uh, gutter people across from us and they were barking a lot uh when i say barking they were trying to get people's attention and trying to get people over to their booths. And, it, and I'm not saying it didn't work. Um, I did hear them say that they had 300 and, I think it was 302 leads for the whole week, um, you know, the four days. 
uh, we ended up with like 306 leads. So, you know, marking doesn't necessarily always do that because we don't, um, you know, we'll try it. We'll say hi to people and ask them if they're interested, if they, if they look at us. Um, if they don't, then we just kind of ignore them back. But that said, it was interesting that they were across from us. Also behind us was the um, uh, auto mower that uh, the robot auto mower, it was right next to us as well. And so it would track, uh, detract a lot of people. And we we're wondering if the people that stopped and looked at that were the, you know, a lot of the middle class buyers that would normally be looking at us. And then when they would get distracted and they kind of, you know, not look back at us, they'd be talking to themselves. And then when they walk by our booth, they didn't even see us. Uh, I did have somebody that uh, came up and visited or that uh, came to the home show, they were actually looking for me and they never found me. And they assumed that I just was not at the show. And it made me wonder, because she, you know, this person, they said that they went up and down every aisle and never saw me. Um, and I kind of wonder if that happened a bunch because of the distraction, because of the herds. Uh, so there, there's a lot to that. And so I don't know if that's where we'll want to be next year. I'm going to see if we can get moved back into our other spot where the asphalt guy was this year. Um, and so we're not uh, against any of the barkers and we're right next to the restroom. So that's going to be our first call to see if we can actually make that happen or not. I don't know if that will happen, but regardless. So that is the Fort Wayne Home and Garden uh, show update. I've got one more show this coming weekend. So I'll be ready for the shows to be done. So I'm Ben. This is my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.